high fidelity, high resolution. You hear these words a lot thrown around in the transducer world, in the high level, in-ear monitor world. What do they really mean? In this video, we're gonna talk about it and I'm going to address the problem that comes with calling it high fidelity, that it comes with calling it high resolution, and the issue that a lot of people believe that the more drivers, the better. So without any further ado, let's jump into this discussion. So first things first, let's talk about high fidelity. Let's talk about high resolution. I usually think of these things when I'm buying a television or when I'm buying a camera. I don't traditionally think about high resolution or high fidelity when I'm looking at earphones. I mean, it can be a little bit confusing and that's why I don't think it's really caught on. Plus the price points, it hasn't really caught on in the general in mass, as well as the fact that custom processes take so dang long to do. You can't just buy it on Amazon and have it shipped to your house. You have to get an impression made. Then you gotta wait for it. And then you have to actually see if it fits and if it doesn't fit, it can cause a problem. And then high fidelity, you thought it was high fidelity, but it doesn't sound any better than a generic. It said it has 25 drivers in it and it sounds no better than a driver that has five or three or two or whatever. And you get confused, angry, pissed off. You send the product back and you get you a thousand dollars back. You end up getting an over the ear set or a generic set for one third of the price and you're a happy camper. Now I'm here to disavow high fidelity. I don't like that word. I think that high fidelity, I think that high resolution gives hearing protection a bad name because it doesn't make any sense. And then immediately you're talking about high resolution, high fidelity. It kind of sounds like you know what you're talking about, like you're an audiophile, but the concept of it as a normal person trying to understand what this means and what these things do, it's stupid. I mean, I hate saying that. We were around when they invented the terminology, high resolution, high fidelity. And it was just something that they slapped on. We have a stupid name for our products. Some of our products that we sell, they're called stereo earplugs. Why would you call it a stereo earplug? Well, the reality is, is a lot of our customers are motorcycle riders and a lot of our customers are older motorcycle riders and they plugged it into their stereo. Well, you know what? That makes sense in 2006 to call it a stereo plug. So we call it stereo plugs. A lot of things are invented I mean, look at the Apple AirPods. Look at look at things that they did with the Apple chargers and they just completely screwed out an entire marketplace. You're in, you're kind of in the throwing business. You throw it at the wall and you see if it sticks. And in a lot of cases, sometimes stupid terms for a name sticks. And that's what's happened in the monitor world is some weird name. So let's dispel that. Let's enter into this with a clear plate. Headphones, earphones. We're gonna talk about that today. Is there a difference between a three driver, a five driver, a seven driver, a 10 driver, a 12 driver, 15 driver, a thousand driver? Yes and no. And the reason why I say no is that not all drivers are made equal. If you get 10 drivers that suck and you put them in an earpiece, that's custom made and you put it in the side of your head, it's gonna sound like crap. If you get two or three drivers, even if you get one driver, that's very, very high quality. <gasps> And the reality is there is a science that's going behind these drivers that's allowing you to have really great sound. And for those of you who are completely new to this, let's take a look at a driver. So these are my triple transducers. Now the drivers are these little silver boxes encased inside of this shell. That's what it is. Now they interact together to give you great sound quality. Just really simple terminology of them. They have balanced armature drivers. Now in a balanced armature driver, an electric current is sent through a coil. The coil is wrapped between two magnets and the changes in current cause an attraction between the coil and the magnets. This means that they can move very, very fast, thousands of times per second. And now the in-ear monitor's diaphragm is connected to the armature. And now this movement produces a sound that we can actually hear. And now a balanced armature driver is balanced because there's no net force on the armature when it is centered in the magnetic field. Now the difference between a dynamic driver and a balanced armature driver is that a dynamic driver displaces air to generate sound and a balanced armature driver does not. And what you're getting with the balanced armature driver is you're getting better noise isolation. You can tune it specifically for certain frequencies. They are smaller than dynamic drivers. There's a better treble performance and there's a faster response and there's more detailed sound. And now that's the scientific breakdown of what it is, but what the heck did I just say? What I did say is that if you're looking for something that is more nuanced, for something that is gonna allow you to really 
love and enjoy and get into your music. It's gonna allow you to isolate the music from everything else. It's gonna allow you to hear all the nuances of your music. That's what a balanced armature driver does for you. If you don't care about that, then there's plenty of other products. There's plenty of other dynamic speakers out in the world that it's gonna allow you. You just put them on and jam out. But wait, you may be asking yourself, aren't there a bunch of different kinds of transducers and speakers out in the world? And if you've been to CES or if you've been to NAMM or if you've been to a lot of these massive conferences, you'll see a lot of companies have thousands and thousands of different types of headphones and speakers and transducers and all these different crazy bone conduction models. And what I wanna do is I wanna keep it simple in this video. There is a fantastic article by Headphone Honesty that talks about the five different types of headphone drivers that you need to know. It's not an affiliate link. It's just a really good article that I thought brought some clarity to what we do. They include bone conduction, they include electrostatic, they include magnetic, and then they include the coil and a dynamic driver or a speaker that you're used to seeing in maybe a car or in commonly known earbuds. And for the sake of this video, to keep it on track, to keep it focused, I would like to acknowledge that there are different types of drivers out in the world and there's all those different options but I wanna make sure that you don't get so confused that it doesn't make any sense and you just click off and it's just another confusing video because I've watched a lot of videos where people go off into a very detailed breakdown of everything you need to ever know about everything, how it all works, and they start throwing out crazy terminology and it's great for the seasoned person who is familiar with it and familiar with sound profiles, but if you're just coming to this video and you're just curious as to what a transducer is, I can get you on the path to finding the right answers. The main drivers that are being used are dynamic drivers and balanced armature drivers. That's what's being used massively. Now, the trade-offs, and this is another great point, the trade-offs between a dynamic driver and a balanced armature driver are the base frequency of a dynamic driver performs much better than that of a balanced armature driver. So it does depend, and that's why I say on this video, and I will always say this, it depends on you as a user. If you're somebody who loves bass and that's what you listen and love and just crave for all your music, a dynamic driver is probably gonna be the right product for you. You can crank the bass up, you can put the bass EQ on and you can just thump in your car, you can thump in your head and just go crazy with a dynamic driver. If you're looking for more of a balanced sound profile to where you can hear the nuances of your music, a balanced armature driver is what's gonna do it for your specific use. And the really interesting thing, and this is why we use balanced armature drivers, is that you can make the sound quality better with the more that you have. If you want a better sound profile as a whole, rather than just cranking up one aspect of it, you can choose to have more drivers, and then therefore you can have a better treble, you can have a better bass tone. You can create an entire sound profile that meets your needs, and that's why we love balanced armature drivers. Not trying to convince you which one's better, it's just up to your ears. So, I don't know you, I don't know what you're listening to, I don't know what your preferences are. And that's why this will always be a contentious thing. Because there are people out there that if we do hearken back to the bone conduction stuff, they love bone conduction. There are some people who love the electrostatic driver. It's up to you on what you enjoy in your life. And that's what I wanna always make sure that you understand when you're buying a set of headphones. It's up to you and your preferences. So. I always recommend is you start out simple and you, you choose a product that is gonna work in your lifestyle, you try it out, and then you go forth with either sticking with it or trying something else. I recommend personally, if you are an audiophile and you're just in love with your music and it plays a massive part of your life, try it all. See what works for your life. See what you love and see what just speaks to your ears and see what is something that you see listening to for the rest of your life and you can't go wrong. Try it all, go to Amazon, buy a whole bunch of different stuff, give it a shot, see what works for you. Then if you want to invest in something more expensive, then you can check out us or you can check out all the other reputable brands that sell balanced armor drivers, that sell higher end stuff with more transducers. There's so many different things out there and that's the cool thing about being alive in 2019 is there's not just three, five, and seven on the channel list. There's not just what the world wants you to have. There's so many options and that's why I wanted to make this video I want you to know that there's so much out in the world. You just have to do your searching. You gotta find cool websites and you gotta really do your homework and see what works best for you because only you know who you are. And that's the reality. And to bring this video full circle, that's why I'm not a fan of the terminology hi-fi or high fidelity sound. So I'm not a fan of the terminology, high definition sound, because it's an undefined thing. 
it's not something you can practically define as good sound because it's something that's not definitive for a certain person. It's not something you can just measure across the board and it's gonna be great for everybody. It's not something that is a definitive answer. It's a sales tactic. It's something that makes the product sound juicier. It doesn't define what the sound is, the sound profile, and it doesn't explain what it's actually doing. It just gives it a flashy name and then you can sell more of it. And I mean, I'm guilty of doing the same thing. Watch a lot of the early videos that I do in this. I try to make our products look as sexy as possible. I try to make all of our stuff look as good as possible because that's the natural way to try to sell something. But the reality is, is I want to only make videos that will help you out so you don't get confused when you're trying to find what you're looking for. So what I always recommend for you to do is to do your homework. Go check out what the heck are they? Make sure I'm not full of crap and telling you the wrong stuff. You gotta go do your homework. You gotta go do your due diligence. I'm here as a resource to just get you started on the path. You gotta do your research and then come back to us. See if I'm right, see if I'm wrong. And then you can teach me. You can talk to me about stuff. You can show me new products and we can have a good interaction. The biggest thing though that I always recommend to anybody who ever watches my stuff, to anybody who ever buys our products, is that you have to know yourself and you have to know what you're gonna use the product in. That's the biggest thing. I know I use mine for listening to music, so I'm isolated on an airplane, on my motorcycle, when I'm working, and in just my leisure time when I wanna to listen to my music or if I wanna to listen to a book on tape or a podcast. That's what I use it for. You have to know, if you're gonna be a person who's gonna be flying hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles, you gotta have something that's gonna allow you to be isolated from screaming kids. If you're gonna be on a motorcycle, you gotta be able to have something that's gonna isolate you from <laughs> and the crazy loud <laughs> All of these crazy sounds, you gotta be isolated from that. You have to know and have the right product that's gonna work for you and your lifestyle. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. Make sure, and I will put a link and a breakdown and I'll do a future video on all different kinds of transducers, what they are, how they work together, the best ones, and I, I don't wanna make this video too long and uh, we'll have a discussion on there. But please, do your research, check us out, go to bigearing.com, or you can just go to our website, start to chat with us, and get you the information and the products that are gonna be great for your life. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end here, make sure to like and subscribe, make sure to comment, find us on Instagram, Facebook, and start a conversation with us. It's my lifeblood, it's what makes me so happy when I get to have a conversation with an individual and just talk about hearing protection. So I wanna thank you so much for watching, and I will hear you later.